What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and another video. Today we're going to be installing the Rock Jock Any Rock in the front um, to make my life a lot easier off-road. Um, also, it's just a great product, but I'm super excited to put this on. I already got the stock junk out of the way, so I'm about to get started on putting the um, sway bar brackets on real quick and then punching in those rubber bushings. Um, so I'll bring you guys along with me. The brackets on up here um, you just reuse your sway bar bolts um, so you just use those two I think they're 16 16 or 15s um, zip them on up there then you want to install your bushing which you saw me do with the hammer not too hard to do now something that was pretty difficult was putting in the actual torsion bar um, so what I did is I put it in one side and I just started wailing at it and let me tell you it, it took a lot it took about uh, five minutes straight of hammering on that with a mallet and make sure you use a mallet you do not want to gnar up those those threads on the torsion bar um but man get you a heavy mallet because that was not fun that was a lot of hammering um i am sweating so <laughs> once you do that you can get the arms on once you get the arms on um, and you get them positioned the way you want them you can go ahead and put on your 14 millimeter bolt and nut here and then of course put on um your torx nut here and that is a 13 sixteenths, so 13 sixteenths, or not 13 sixteenths, 3 sixteenths, sorry, 3 sixteenths um, uh, nut here. So you want to, or bolt, so you put that in there, um, and then your arm is on. Now, normally, next, you'd put on your sway bars, um, which I have right here. Um, however, the ones that come with the JK kit are not long enough for my application um, because I have about five inches of lift on in the front. Um, so. I had to go on a Northridge and order new sway bar links. I ordered the 14 inch ones so that I have plenty of rod here. Um, so I plan to put those in, they should be here today. They were about 20 bucks a piece, so that kind of sucked. Um, but it's my fault for not researching a little bit before I bought it. Um, but good news is it's in, the rest should be finished here later today once UPS drops off the other links. Um, I do plan to angle this up a little bit more than usual, which means I may have to trim this up right here. Um, but I am going to angle it up just a little bit more um, than parallel. So I'll get back with you guys as soon as UPS drops that off and we'll get the rest of the install finished. All right, guys, we are back. It is the next day. Um, the links didn't come in until really late last night, um, so I didn't really want to screw with it, but here's the finished product. We got them on. I did opt to go a little bit higher on the angle here because um, I am hoping to have a lot of town travel with these big old coils and my um, larger shocks. So I should have a little more down travel, so I wanted to angle it up just a little bit more. Now, what I did is I did get the 14 inch rods here for each end um, you can get them directly from curry or from northridge 4x4 which is what i did um so what i did is i had those they were a little long straight out of the box of course because they're they're 14 inches but what i did um, is i took them off i cut off part of the rod um, which was actually super easy i actually grabbed um, my cut off wheel here i cut it off on the bench up there um, and then i actually used the end of this and just uh, chamfered the end of it so that the threads were nice and uh, solid on there. So 
not a bad job. I was a little bit scared to do it at first. So I feel a little bit scared of cutting a rod and chamfering it. Um, it's really not hard. Just leave the nut on there um, so when you cut it, and then once it's done and you have it chamfered, you can actually just cut the threads if you need to with that nut. I didn't have to. Uh, it looks like I transferred it just right to where the uh, nut just came right off the rod. So super easy to do. Um, I was scared of it because I'm not really comfortable with cutting stuff, um, but there is more that I had to cut as well. I did go ahead and cut these. Um, I didn't have a long enough cutoff wheel to cut them all the way back or all the way off. So what I did is, is cut them as far as I could and then I took a hammer, as you could see in the in the video, and I just knocked them over. So now I have plenty of clearance for that to go up. Um, I can always cut it more if needed as well. Um, but yeah, everything went, went pretty smoothly um, with the install here. Um, the hardest part was knocking the torsion bar through the two ends. So that was probably the hardest part now, of it. The kit for the JK comes with these uh, end links here. They are eight and a half inches. Um, I believe uh, safely all the way out with the, um, the ends on them, they go out to like 11 inches maybe, um, which was not enough for me with four and a half to five inches of lift. So if you have more than that, you're gonna need a longer rod for sure. I believe this is good all the way up to three and a half to four inches. So you should be okay depending on your setup. Um, and you can order the kit with the longer end links directly um, if you do a little bit of research. So Northwest 4x4 has plenty of options on there. They had all of this stuff to me within 24 hours, which was super, super impressive. Shout out to Northwest 4x4 for getting everything out so quickly um, and offering some great prices. So very happy with that as well. Driving this on the road, really not bad on the sway on the road. I think it's well worth the compromise to not have to get out, get in the dirt and unhook your quick disconnects. Well worth it. Um, another thing too is this is not just for not having to disconnect. So when you're articulated off road and you're flexing out without the sway bar connected with a quick disconnect or something like that, the, the tire that's on the ground that is not all the way up on the rock or wherever you're at, is not getting any downward pressure, so it's not getting the bite that it should. With the Anorak um, sway bar, it's applying downward pressure, so you're, you're getting a lot of bite from that, that wheel that's barely on the ground. So that's another huge advantage to running the Anorak. Um, so I'm super excited to test this out this weekend at the Badlands. Um, hopefully everything goes smoothly, I'm sure it will. Everything on here is super, super beefy. Um, so guys, I would highly recommend Anorak if you're looking into Just it. Just a quick side note here as well. Um, this right here, this nut is a 17 millimeter um, and the outside is 19. So you will need uh, two different wrenches there uh, in order to tighten those up. Um, but that went super, super smooth. Once you get this connected as well, these are 14s. What I would do first is tighten up this um, bolt first. Um, that way it pushes it all the way in and then go ahead and tighten it up here second. So, but yeah, overall very, very easy, easy install. I can't believe it took me this long to install this on the Jeep. Um, it should, should be a lot more convenient for me off-road um, and should also, also give me a little bit better traction off-road as well. So super excited to test this thing out. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Um, Anorak Sway Bar, definitely recommend. It's a great product, super beefy product from a great company. They've done a lot of research on this product um, and I cannot wait to test this thing out off-road. It should offer me more articulation as well as not having to get underneath the Jeep and disconnect and connect. So it should save me some time as well as give me better traction. So can't really go wrong with that, guys. Um, I'll link down below the Northwest 4x4 link to what I bought. Um, if you guys want to go check it out, I believe they are running a little bit of a sale right now if you use the code SNAZBERRY. Um, but go ahead and check their Instagram for that discount code. Um, but guys, I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'd be glad to answer them for you. And go ahead and like and subscribe for more Jeep and off-road content.